It is Faith Friday, and we love our Faith Fridays around here. We're excited now for our next guest. She's made her mark speaking out about gender equality, LGBTQ plus advocacy, religious tolerance, and in honor of Pride Month, she has now written a memoir called As a Woman, What I Learned About Power, Sex, and the Patriarchy After I Transitioned. And Dr. Paula Stone Williams, pastor of the Left Hand Church in Longmont, Colorado, joins us now. So good to have you here. How are you today? Oh, it's so good to be with you. It's a huh? marvelous day. Uh, well, let me start with uh, some news that a lot of folks don't find so marvelous. We're going to get into the book here in a second, but we have to ask. Uh, we just saw this in Florida. Governor DeSantos signing uh, that bill uh, the first day of Pride Month, which some people uh, certainly didn't take too kindly to, that bars transgender female athletes from participating in girls and, and, and women's sports in high school and college in that state. Some 30 states have introduced bills like this. I think we're up to at least maybe seven or eight that have actually passed them and signed them into law. Your reaction to them, and a lot of people say they're just a solution to a problem that isn't there in the first place, but your reaction and the damage you think is done to maybe some of our youth with, with bills and what we're seeing around the country. You know, not only is it a solution to a problem that doesn't exist, it's the creation of a massive problem. We know that transgender adolescents who don't have a supportive environment have a 13 times higher suicide rate than their peers. So to solve a problem that doesn't exist, we've created a massive problem for all the trans kids out there. It's really tragic and very misguided. All right, well, uh, Dr. Willis, I want to get into your, your book here now, the uh, memoir. Um, you talk about now living on both sides, all right? You, you talk openly about living on both sides and experiencing both sides and a gender divide. Um, what disparities do you see uh, as a woman now? Oh my, there are so many. Probably the biggest is how much men interrupt women. I don't think there's any way a well-educated man can understand how much the culture is tilted in his favor. It's kind of difficult living life as a woman. If there's one thing I could say to guys, it would be, you know, if you would just assume a woman knows what she's talking about and treat her accordingly, that alone would go a long way. It's amazing how much confidence you lose when you go from being a powerful white man into the experience of a woman. I hesitate. I wanted to make sure you were done because I didn't want to interrupt <laughs> is why I, I had a little bit that's of a pause good. there, that's Dr. Good. That's what that's <laughs> about. Now, the book here, what, what is it? Uh, you know, we we're talking about kids there for a second, but your, your memoir, if, if there's something in here, maybe you could encourage a, a kid, like you say, the damage done to kids um, who are who go through whatever experience it is, you know how tough it has to be for a child, but what's something in this book you would like them to be able to take from it? Oh, I want them to have an experience different than mine. I mean, yeah. I'm older than dirt. And so when I knew I was transgender three or four years of age, there was nothing out there. There were no resources. And so I hope children now can see hope can see that there's a lot of us and that we're relatively normally healthy people like pretty much anybody else in their world. So that's what I hope. In fact, that's what I hope, period, about this book is it bridges the divide, that it tells the story. Okay, and as I introduced you, of course, pastor of the Left Hand Church in Longmont, Colorado. So here's our Faith Friday guest, and we always ask our Faith Friday guests, send us all into the weekend with a little hope, a message of, of hope and encouragement for the weekend. So the floor is yours. I think we are spiritual beings, and I think it's best for us to work out our spirituality in community. Man's search for meaning has been with us since the beginning of time, and I think if we spend time alone, we can touch deep inside our souls. But when we can talk with others about the meaning of life, we can reach even deeper into our collective experience. Spend time with people. Talk about the things that matter. Oh, oh, oh that they never fails, does it, guys? Our Faith Friday guests always deliver for us. And Dr. Paula Stone Williams, it is good to have you. I hope you'll come back at some point down the road. But uh, but you have a good weekend. So good to have you. Thank you so much. And again, folks, the book is As a Woman: What I Learned About Power, Sex, and the Patriarchy After I Transitioned. It's available everywhere that books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.